I think I'm the most intense fighter in the cruiserweight division. You seen me fight? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a better football. Here I can dance. It can only be a firefight. I think it, it could be a knockout. I believe I'm the best cruiserweight in the world. For many years, the perception of the cruiserweight division is that it's been a little more than a pit stop on fighters' way to heavyweight glory. But that perception has changed in recent years as the talent level has increased. Two of the top talents are Chris Billum Smith and Gilberto Ramirez, both title holders, who on November 16th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, will try to become a unified champion. That happens in November. Today, they face off. So this is the first time the two of you have ever met, correct? Yes. Yeah. What are your early perceptions of Gilberto? Great hair. <laughs> great, great hair. I'm, I'm jealous. Um, very respectful, as I expected, which is works well for me. You know, in terms of that's that's how I like like things, and it's uh, it's good. What's your first observations of Chris? Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> no, nice. Uh, yeah. You've been a cruiserweight for virtually your entire career. He's early in the cruiserweight division. His last fight, he picked up a world title against Arsan Goulamari, a long reigning title holder at cruiserweight. What did you think of that fight? Yeah, really good performance. Uh, Goulamari was someone we were looking at before I won my world title, and you know knew it was going to be a would have been a tough fight. Showed a bit of everything in there, what he needed to. You have got to be tough to to get through Gulliver. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very good performance. What have you thought of what you've seen on tape of Chris? I think he's a strong. He's a guy that he come forward all the time. He's reached the distance really, man management really well. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's been for so long in a cruiserweight, and I just think uh, it will be an amazing fight. So he thinks this is going to be a Mexican fight, which implies a pretty physical fight. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of fight you're expecting? You seen me fight? <laughs> um, we always bring excitement, even against people who haven't been as exciting to watch. I've managed to make the fights exciting, so uh, it can only be, uh, you know, uh, a firefight. Do you think he's going to be able to fight on the inside with you? Do you think he's going to be as strong as you on fight night? Well, I think that night he want to bring everything to the table, and um, I will be ready for that. And I just hope that he came really prepared for give to a great show for all the fans. What do you think you do better than Gilberto? Just the, the intensity I fight at. Sometimes I haven't had to show it in, in recent fights. I think I'm the most intense fighter in the cruiserweight division. I think that's definitely one of my, my strengths. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm the best cruiserweight in the world, regardless of who that is, whether it's Zerdo or Jaipatire or whoever it may be. I believe I'm the best cruiserweight in the world. Now you've been a cruiserweight a very short period of time, just two fights at cruiserweight and really one against a full cruiserweight and that was your last fight. Do you believe you're the best cruiserweight in the world? Well, I believe I'm the best cruiserweight and I respect him because he said that and I think we're gonna prove who's the best in cruiserweight in that night. What do you think that you do better than Chris? I think I have a better footwork. I think um, he will be prepared for everything and me too. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's, it's exciting to be here. Do you think his footwork is better than yours? No, personally, <laughs> but... Uh... Yeah, I can dance. <laughs> oh, you might be able to dance better than me. But, uh... <laughs> Maybe outside the ring, that's for sure. Um, not, not much of a dancer outside the ring, but I do a lot of things really well and some things I maybe haven't been able to show before in previous fights or haven't had to. So, But I do think I'll have to show everything against, against Zerto. We've seen you as a champion at 168, a top contender at 175. What's different about you at this weight? Oh, because I um, walk around my this at uh, this way, and that makes a difference. And I feel comfortable, and I eat better. Do you feel like you fight differently at this weight? I'm the same from 68. I'm the same boxer, but I'm uh, think just like I'm try to be, uh, to be better every time, and just because I want to be better mm -hmm. and I want to be the best, mm -hmm. and I need to prove uh, November 16th that I'm the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking the fight, and we just want to be the best, and we have to prove who's the best on November 16th. You're a, a career-long cruiserweight, as I mentioned. Is there an advantage there in, in you being comfortable at this weight, you knowing what it takes physically to fight at this weight versus someone that is relatively new at the weight class? Yeah, I, I think so. I think you'd, you'd be, although he's big for, for the other weights he was in, there's kind of that huge leap to cruiserweight from, from 175 to 200 pounds. That's a huge gap. So. 
the fact that I've always been in, in the weight division helps, but also built into the weight division to really fill out it's the perfect weight for me. Mm-hmm. So I think that definitely benefit me. The advantages you talked about having in this fight, how do you think you can use them against Gilberto? Just be me. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to do. Every fight, I need to be me. And sometimes that looks different. Uh, as I showed in my last fight, everyone thought, you know, I couldn't do certain things. And I showed that in the last fight. And um, I, I'll have to show more again in this mm-hmm. fight. Uh, I believe Zerdo is the best fighter I've faced so far, but I just keep bringing out more skills mm-hmm. that I've got and more tools that I've got. What did he show you in his last fight? Were you impressed with his performance? He did really well the second half of the, the, the fight because the, the first half, the other guy, he was dominating a little bit and he did really well. And I mean, that was he's a champion. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that assessment of your last fight? No, I don't. I think... I think <laughs> I think he had a good first round. Then, other than that, I dominated the fight. You saw the way his last opponent fought. This is someone you can jump on early? Well, yeah, I think so. Do you expect him to try to fight like that, to try to make it an inside fight, jump on you right from the beginning? Yeah, he fights at intensity uh, all times. You know, he brings pace. Uh, he started fast against Gulamirin, really good start. And yeah, that just uh, excites me because mm-hmm. I, I, I like that, that style. You don't have to, I've, I've fought some pretty two awkward fighters in the mm-hmm. past that don't give you much time to work, but I think is gonna give me mm-hmm. time to work and that really excites mm-hmm. me. You think that'll bring the best out of you? Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. When you won your title and you were looking at unification fights, why was this the right one for you? Why was Chris Billum Smith the right opponent for you in this situation? Oh, because, uh, I mean, he'd been champion for a long time and he sent me a message from when I won the title and he congratulated me. Mm-hmm. And he told me, let's do it, and I was agreeing, and we're here now. So what was behind that message? Uh, well, before the fight, I said, good luck, uh, I hope you do it. <laughs> and then won the fight, and I was really pleased to see him win it. It was, uh, like I said, we tried to get Gulamirin in the past, and it had been mm-hmm. difficult. So, you know, Zerdo's a, a proper fight, fighter, and he, he wants to fight. So, yeah, that was it. It was just, uh, I want to I wanna become undisputed champion. So you need champions that are, mm-hmm. are willing to fight you. So um, obviously, yeah. we've got a unification. What would being undisputed mean to you? For me, like, it's a dream for me to become undisputed. I've been working so hard for this, and now it's, uh, I think it's my time. It's a really good opportunity for me, and I mean, so exciting for this fight. It will be a really amazing fight, I think. Same question for you, like, unified comes first, undisputed comes next. What would that mean to you? It'd be amazing. You know, the, there's not been loads of undisputed world uh, cruiserweight champions so you look at the undisputed guys and some pretty elite mm-hmm. names there so to to be in the history books of them would be special mm-hmm. you saw what he did against gula Marion. do you do you think you're a different fighter than gula Marion? do you think you're a better fighter than gula Marion? absolutely yeah i do like i said i believe i'm i'm, I'm the best best cruiserweight in the world and mm-hmm. Gulumirin does some things good, maybe some things better than me, um, not many, but some things better than me, but yeah. as a well-rounded cruiserweight, that's what I think I bring the whole package to the cruiserweight division, the mindset, the tenacity, the intensity, and just flicking that switch. Do you think he will be a tougher opponent than Gulumirin? Oh, him? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Why? Uh, because he put in everything in, in the table for uh, this fight and it's his dream, it's my dream too. Mm. It will be amazing. You're headlining in a Riyadh season card. How does that change the dynamic a little bit? You're both gonna be on the road for this particular fight. As a professional, it'd be my, my first time fighting outside the, the UK, but you've seen these Riyadh season cards and who's headlining them and the shows they put on. So for for me to be headlining in a unification is, is, is fantastic and um, an honor for me. You'll be headed over to Riyadh as well, first time for you. How does that make it different for you? Well, it's not make different because at the end of the day, we is only one ring and just us in, mm-hmm. in the ring and the referee doesn't count. But I think it, it could be a knockout, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna guess both of you think the other one, <laughs> one way or the other. Uh, friendly now but we'll see if it's a little bit different in the ring on November 16th. Guys, good luck. Yes. Thank you.